Hi friends, welcome back to Confia Control System. We Confia Control System are the best solution providers for all industrial automation products. We provide multi-branded industrial automation products to our customer with a 100% guarantee and 100% warranty. So if you are having any requirement, please feel free to contact Confia at any time. We are always there to support you. Today in this video, I am going to discuss with you about the various types of PLC programming languages that's been available. So, how are they classified, where it can be used and what are those types? Come, let's get into this video. The PLC programming languages are being classified based on IEC 6013 which is the first vendor based standardized programming language for all industrial automation field and it was established by the International Electrotechnical Commission which is a worldwide standardized organization founded in the year 1906 and the standard has been recognized by more than 50 countries and they have set the standard for their control industry. Based on this standard, the PLC programming languages have been classified into ladder diagram, sequential functional chart, functional block diagram, structure test as well as instruction list. So next we shall see one by one. The first type of PLC programming language is the ladder diagram or LD. It is the most commonly used PLC programming language and it is a high level graphically designed language which is really very easy to read and understand as well as it is easy to maintenance and troubleshoot the error. So I will explain you an example for this ladder logic diagram. Wait. So this is an example. So each line of code is called as rank in this uh, program. So and this rung will start with a power rail and the right side of this rung consists of output instruction as well as coil which is directly connected physically to the output on and off and the left side of this rung consists of input instruction which uh, directly block as well as allows the flow from the power rail to the rung. So if in case this rung is complete from the power rail to the coil then the output will turn on. The next is advantage and disadvantages of this ladder diagram programming. So the main advantage is since the programming is based on rank, it is very organized and also easy to follow. It also allows you to document uh, the comments that are readily visible. Also online editing is available in this ladder logic diagram. So also it is very successfully edited easily. The main disadvantage of this ladder logic diagram is certain instructions are missing in this ladder diagram programming so that it will make it some difficult to do the programming uh, such as for motion as well as batching. The next type is functional block diagram. So this functional block diagram is another graphical programming language for PLZ. So in this functional block diagram, the functional blocks are being placed in the sheets and they are wired together. So the end result will be looking similar to a piping as well as an instrumentation diagram. So due to its resemblance uh, to a piping and instrumentation diagram and also its ability to control the process continuously, it's been widely used in process industries. And the main advantage of this functional block diagram, when compared to the logic diagram, the output of a particular functional block can be easily shifted to the next or uh, its feedback can be taken to another functional block without implementing any intermediate variable. So this feature makes the functional block diagrams feels great and provides a continuous controlling process. For example, if you need to do a monitoring of an analog input continuously or need to set the output range to a particular value, you can use this functional block diagram. I will give you an example for this functional block diagram. See there is a tank, you have to uh, note the uh, filling level of this tank. So for that, uh, see these are the functional block. So we have to take the input from this filling valve of this tank and this should be given to an engineered valve. So this engineered valve is connected directly to the functional block. So this functional block will do uh, a data type changing from the engineered scaled value to an integer value. So this integer is then given to another functional block where it will do a comparison to a predefined value of this tank level. So while comparing it will give you a pro output whether the tank is filled or not or it is being in what range for example over alarm, under alarm etc can be obtained from this functional block output. 
Next is the advantage and disadvantage of this functional block diagram. The main advantage is it works well with motion controls and some users find it very easy to use this functional block diagram because many lines of programs can be put inside a single functional block or into a several functional blocks. And the main disadvantage of this uh, functional block diagram is since it can be placed anywhere on this sheet, uh, it can become a disorganized form of programming code. Also, it's very difficult to troubleshoot when it is being disorganized in the sheets. The next type is structured test. It is a, a text-based programming a language and this is mainly preferred by younger engineers who are really more comfortable with languages like Python. And the older engineers, uh, they generally do not refer this structured text because this is not suitable for a maintenance purpose. Mainly, this is suitable for doing um, uh, arithmetic calculations. So, we shall see an example of this uh, structured text. So, consider the previous example that I said for that functional block diagram at tank and that fill level of the tank should be calculated but not using a wall by using a volume. So, in structured test, you have to write the text uh, format as a programming code based on this volume calculation only. You can find whether the tank is filled or not. So, based on this lines, you can find and the output will be on when this, when this coding is completed. So, the, when comparing its advantage and disadvantage, so the structured test programming is really very organized uh, since it is uh, following the text structure and it is mainly suitable for mathematical calculations, arithmetic calculations and looping the arrays uh, for a data structure etc. And the disadvantage is uh, since it is a text structure, it is really very difficult uh, to uh, write the programming code and very difficult to debug the error and also editing online is also somewhat difficult in case of structured test programming language. The next type of PLC programming language is sequential function chart or SFC. It is a flowchart like programming language. So, we can build using this uh, state machine as well as sequences for processing. So, it is really easy to design and you have to create separate blocks for each action uh, and how to assign what it should do when the machine is in each state. Also, you have to assign certain condition that should be attained or required to achieve the transition from one state to another state. So, also this SFC uh, is really mainly used in high definitions mission as well as uh, sequences. So, since it is really easy to monitor and easy to debug the error, so we can use in high definition missions. Uh, next, we shall see the example for this uh, SFC. So, same example, uh, you consider a tank. Uh, so, you have to open and close the wall when the tank is filling as well as emptying. So, since it is a flowchart model, you have to create block like this. So, initiating block, ideal block, fill block, empty block. So, it will be receiving the input when uh, in the reset option. It will be in ideal state. When the start button is given, it will start to fill. The tank will be start to fill. When the fill, it is in full state, the empty process will occur. And when empty is done, again the initial state. So, this will be looped continuously till the power is on. So, for this example, you can use it for high definition missions. Next is the advantage and disadvantage of sequential function chart, SFC. So, the main advantage is the operations can be broken into major pieces so that easily you can troubleshoot the error and faster. Also, you can view in which part is being faulted from the flowchart. So, this will help to identify the error and debug within a short period of time. You can easily design the program as well as you can debug the error with the help of this functional block. The main disadvantage is this. It cannot be uh, used or is not suitable for all type of applications. The final programming language is the instruction list. IEL. It is an absolute programming language which is similar to an assembly uh, language. So, mainly this assembly language or instruction list is used in the maintenance person and the manufacturers uh, do not recommend this language to be used in case of a newer project. So, the main advantage of this uh, instruction list is 
it is valuable for application which need a new code that is compact and time critical and the main disadvantage of this instruction list is uh, there are some structural possibilities uh, with the command like uh, go to etc and also debugging the error is somewhat difficult when compared to other programming language that i discussed earlier that's all for today's video. I think that you are clear with all the 5 basic PLG programming language that I have explained today. So you can select any language based on your application and the industry that you are working. So make sure to go through the, all the languages uh, before uh, uh, starting your learning process. If you are having any queries, please feel free to contact Confia Control System at any time. Thank you. Have a nice day.